Good day, everyone. My name is Elris Rivera, and I will be presenting the Make Care Fair project of my group for the IAIT 2022, the Kakawate Soap. First and foremost, let us get to know Kakawate. Its scientific name is Glucidia sapium, and commonly known as Madre de Cacao from being naturalized in Mexico. It is known to benefit skin health from its reputation and presence in folk medicine and skin care clinics. The whole cacahuate plant, from their leaves to the branches and roots, have ethomedical properties used as folk remedy for alopecia, boils, bruises, burns, gangrene, itch, skin tumors, and wounds. And according to Abdul Aziz and Company in 2019, the leaf extract of cacahuate is an effective anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, and anti-allergy agent. The picture you're now seeing on your screens is the submitted Adventure 6, which is the drawing of the kakawat soaps. Next, let us discuss the list of ingredients needed to make this soap. First is the glycerin bar, which is an essential ingredient in soap making. This serves as the soap base, which has the capacity to increase moisture content on our skin. Soaps with glycerin bars as bases are ideal for babies, and those who have sensitive skin types because this type of base is less harsh on the skin. Next is the cocomide diethylonamine or Cidea for short. Basically, this ingredient is used for the soap to produce foam. Thus, it is very common in bathing products like shampoos and soaps. Next is the star ingredient of the soap, which is the cacahuate leaf extract concentration. For this one, we have three different concentrations. Next is the scent, and the one we use is a bamboo scent, which is a natural scent that is very calming and relaxing. Next is the sweet almond oil. It is known for helping keep our skin cells healthy, and it is also soothing the skin, especially those who have dry skin conditions. Next is the soap hardener. From the name itself, it is the hardening agent that is mostly found in personal care products because it is safe and helps soften the skin as well. And lastly, a bottle of ethyl or isopropyl alcohol to smoothen and remove the bubbles on the surface of the mixture after it is poured on the soap mold. Next, let us discuss the phases in the saponification or soap making process. It consists of seven phases. Phase one is the gathering of ingredients where we acquire each ingredient as mentioned at the previous slide. Phase 2 is the gathering of materials, which would be the tools and equipment used in order to make the soap. Phase 3 is the measurement of ingredients, where all ingredients are quantified to the amount required. Phases 4 and 5 are interconnected, because phase 4 is the heating of the glycerin bar for it to melt, and phase 5 is the mixing of all measured ingredients to the heated glycerin bar. And likewise, phases 6 and 7 are also interconnected. Phase 6 is the molding process, where the liquid mixture formed from the heating and mixing processes are poured into soap molds. And lastly, phase 7 is the curing process, where the liquid mixture slowly solidifies to become a soap on the soap molds. The pictures shown at the side are from the day our group made our soaps. The one above is from the phase 3, the measurement of the ingredients, and the one below is from phase 6, the molding process. And finally, the pictures you are all seeing on your screens is the final product as seen in the Adventure 7 of the IAIT Learning Journal. And that is all for our Maker Fair project. I hope you've obtained knowledge from this presentation. Thank you so much for watching.